Hi, I'm Bruce Grace, Product Specialist at Atlas Copco, and I want to talk to you about clamp torque. What is clamp torque, why is it important, and what does it have to do with the micro-torque system? Traditionally, manufacturers use target or peak torque in their assembly specifications. But what if I told you that target and peak torque are only a threshold reference and they don't actually measure the complete tightening process? To help you better understand what I mean, let's take a look at a graph that's produced from a tightening and break it into sections. Here, we have a graph that follows the entire tightening process, and it can be broken down into three sections. You can see it by the colors. The thread engagement, the rundown of the screw, and then the actual tightening of the screw. This is where the screw first engages, and this is where it hits its final peak torque. The graph is showing torque over angle. As the screw engages, spins, and descends into the hole, it steadily increases in friction until it hits this point. This point, right where the graph suddenly begins to spike, is called the seating point. The seating point is when the head of the screw or bolt actually touches the component that it's tightening. The seating point is also where the actual tightening process begins. Once a screw or bolt fully seats, the screw continues to turn until the peak torque is met and then the tool shuts off. Now that you understand the tightening process better, let's go back to our initial question. What is clamp torque? Clamp torque is not just a spike where the tool shuts off. It's the measurement of the force between the screw head and the component that it's seated on. Let's take a look at another graph to get a better picture of this. This graph is similar in shape to the one we just looked at, but you can see that we've added two extra values here. We've added the seating point and the clamp torque. Now remember, the clamp torque is the measurement of force between the screw head and the component. The clamp torque is calculated by subtracting the seating point from the peak torque. With that being said, a bigger difference means more force, and a smaller difference means less force. Now that you understand what clamp torque is, let's address the second question. Why is clamp torque important? Monitoring or targeting clamp torque can help you to better understand the amount of stress on a joint, and just as important, it can help you monitor, flag, and eliminate quality concerns. Let me show you an example. Here I have a block with two different sized hole diameters, and I'm going to use the same tightening program that only targets peak torque to run a screw into each hole. Let's see what happens when we tighten the screw into the bigger hole diameter. Now there are a couple things to note here. One, we got a green light because we hit the target torque that we set. Two, we can see that the screw is seated all the way down, it's touching the component. And three, we can reassure all of this by looking at the graph. It looks similar to the ones that we referenced earlier. You can see where the seating point is and where the target torque is. So with the two, you can measure the difference, which is clamp torque. Now let's see what happens when we tighten a screw using the same program into a smaller hole diameter. Now there are a few things to mention here. One, we got an okay signal, but you can see that the screw isn't actually tightened down all the way. That's because we only asked it to hit a target torque, which is a reference. It hit the spike that we asked it to hit. We're not monitoring clamp torque, which is the difference between the seating point and the target torque. We're only monitoring a target torque. You can see here that it steadily follows friction until it hits a peak torque. There's no seating point, like in the other graph, and with no seating point, there's no way to actually measure clamp torque, which makes sense because the screw isn't actually touching the component. There's no force between the head and the component itself. Now that you have a better understanding of what clamp torque is and why it's important, that brings us to our last question. What does clamp torque have to do with the microtorque system? The microtorque system offers two advanced strategies, seating control strategy and torque seating monitoring. One strategy is able to target clamp torque, and the other strategy is able to monitor clamp torque. This can help you improve your assembly process and take care of all of your quality issues. To get a better understanding of those advanced strategies, there's two videos in this playlist. One is called Seating Control Strategy and one is called Torque Seating Monitoring. Check those out for a better explanation. This has been an overview of what clamp torque is. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.